Welcome to Tech Solution Z. In this video, you'll learn how to set up a complete Genome 47 desktop environment on FreeBSD 15. If you have ever installed FreeBSD before, you already know it doesn't come with a graphical interface out of the box. Everything starts in the terminal and that can make the process feel a bit technical. So today, the goal is to walk through a clean and reliable method to get Genome running flawlessly. Begin by updating the package repository. This ensures you're working with the latest versions of everything FreeBSD provides. Once the system finishes syncing with the servers, install Nano for easy text editing and install Xorg. Xorg is the display server framework that Genome relies on. Think of it as the foundation that allows windows, menus, and all the desktop visuals to appear on your screen. Without Xorg, no graphical environment can run. After the base is ready, install Genome itself. You'll also install the Genome desktop components, the GDM Display Manager and Dbus. Genome brings the modern desktop interface, GDM handles the login screen, and Dbus acts as the communication layer between system components. Genome depends on these pieces working together, so installing them all upfront avoids issues later. When the packages are done installing, it's time to enable the background services that Genome needs. Use the built-in system configuration tool to activate GDM so it loads automatically at startup. Enable the Genome sessions so the desktop environment launches smoothly after login. Turn on Dbus for system communication and enable the mouse daemon and HAL. HAL helps FreeBSD detect and manage hardware devices like USB drives, Bluetooth adapters, and other peripherals that a desktop user expects to work automatically. Having all these services enabled ensures that Genome behaves like a proper desktop system instead of a bare-bones shell. Next, head into the slash /atc directory and open the fstap file. fstap controls how FreeBSD mounts various file systems during boot. Genome needs access to the slash /proc file system to function correctly because that's where the system exposes important process information. Without slash /proc mounted, certain Genome components and extensions won't behave properly. Add the entry shown on screen to make sure slash proc is available every time the system starts. Save the file, exit the editor, and then reboot the machine so all the changes can take effect. When the system comes back up, GDM should appear immediately as the graphical login screen. Once you sign in, Genome 47 will load with its full desktop experience. You should see the clean UI, smooth animations, settings menu, and everything you'd expect from a modern Genome environment, all running on top of FreeBSD 15. At this point, your FreeBSD system isn't just a server-style installation anymore. It's a fully functional desktop OS ready for daily use. You can start installing your favorite applications, customizing Genome's look, and enjoying the combination of free BSD stability with a polished graphical interface. If this walkthrough helped you build your free BSD desktop, hit the like button, drop a comment, and let me know what you'd like to see next. More BSD, Linux, and tech content is coming your way. This is Yasir, signing off from Tech Solution Z.